I use the game of snakes and ladders to think about our life, okay? There are things that can happen where it is a ladder. Oh, you got a job at Bank of Baroda, that's like a ladder, okay? But then there are a lot of snakes, you step on it, come down, okay? <laughs> the problem with the 2023 and the time we live in is, the board now has fewer ladders and many more snakes. Yeah. You, can st you can step on a snake without realizing it and boom, game over, back to square one. Just look, in the last six weeks, three big banks in the world no longer exist. Credit Suisse, SVP, Silicon Valley Bank and whatever. Overnight, okay? So this can happen to institutions, they can step on a snake, it can happen to you and I. Well, one way you deal with this is make sure that you, at least for important decisions, that you have a set of people whose advice and perspectives can help you avoid a really bad decision. You know, we make a lot of decisions in our life, mm -hmm. but a few of them are very material, okay? The material ones are what? Who do you marry and choose to spend your life with, okay? There is some element of choice there. Another one is, who do you go work for? Where do I live? Should I go abroad? Should I go here? Should I go live in Mumbai? Should I go live in some other city? Why is that important? Because the way op opportunities will arise will be different based on where you live, etc. You know, I had this idea, look, a company has a board of directors. I became a CEO very early, I was 33. I realized I needed advice. So, to, I, I recruited in, in Cummins very early, a very good board of directors where they had people like Venu Srinivasan, etc. on it. And they were very effective in giving good advice. Whenever I got in trouble, I would go meet Rahul Bajaj, okay, because he was like the godfather of Pune. So, I said, I must have the same thing in my personal life, okay? So, I slowly over the years said, I like this person, I think they have wisdom, let me see. So, whenever I'm confronted with a big decision, oh, should you take this BOB opportunity or not? Some six, seven people, you don't have to do what they say. Usually, I ignore it. But you make a better decision, you're more aware dealing with that, okay? So I tell, amongst other things, I say, who's your personal board of directors? And this is obviously a virtual board. They don't know they're on your board, they never meet, you never have board meeting, minutes, nothing, okay? But when you make an important decision, you say, hmm, who do I consult?